10 questions about sex parties. Let's go. Going to the play is like purchasing a day pass to a sex positive festival. It's sex Coachella, sex Chella. Exactly, it is <laughs> sex Chella. Activities also really help you make new friends. Oh, I met Tara at butt plug ring toss. <laughs> I would be at the butt plug ring toss. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Love Bites by Dr. Tara podcast. Here with me today is Michael, the mastermind behind The Play LA, a sensational sex party. Welcome to Love Bites. Thank you for having me. Do you like that intro? I love that intro. <laughs> Thank you very much. This was great. Well, you know, I have always had tons of questions from my audience mm -hmm. about sex parties. Perfect. There's a lot of misunderstandings, misconception, a lot of assumptions about sex parties. So I am so excited that like, you know, you're the mastermind behind one of the most popular play parties in LA and that you're going to be literally the expert answering all of these audience questions. I can't wait. So this episode is 10 questions about sex parties. Let's go. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> People ask me this a lot. How do I get invited to a sex party? Ooh, that's a good question. Okay, so there's a couple of ways to get invited. One, if you know someone, usually most people are referred to by a sex party. It's like, hey, I had a great time. I think you'd be great. It's like the doctors, right? Exactly, referral. exactly. It's the like, referral program. Here's my gynecologist. He looked at my pussy. He's good. Yes. <laughs> um, the other thing you can do is, you know, maybe search on Instagram to kind of see what the vibe is. You know, there's play parties that have different um, specialities. You know, sometimes they're like big Beverly Hills mansion and it may cost a lot. You know, there's some that are focused more on like Tantra and things of that nature. So there's a huge range. My advice would be to check out their social media handles, their websites, and really read up on the website of what they offer because a lot of spaces, especially in LA with the market that we have, are super specific. So they can just Google it? Ooh, that's a rough one. Um, like Google sex parties? Yeah, when you Google sex parties, it's a mixed bag, but uh, <laughs> I would uh, just... Yes, always use Google, but just do the research and read the website. Just don't apply because it's like, oh, here's a sex party and my friend told me about it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna apply. Read what their experience is about. What, what and also, what's your intention for attending that sex party? Mm -hmm. Ooh, love that. Tell me more about the intentions. Are there like yes. certain intentions that are more aligned with your party? Yes, so um, at our parties, we make all of our guests um, you know, partner up and talk about their dibs, their desires, intentions, and boundaries for the Ooh. night. So we start with the desires. You know, you came to a sex party. Clearly, there's something here, maybe sexually, right. sensually, intimately, that you want to experience. Right. But so many times you go to a sex party and you don't say it out loud. So we're giving you the chance to speak it into existence. So we may be partnered up and you say, hey, Michael, right. I want to be tied up. I want to experience Shabari. Hey, I'm not the Shabari guy, but now that I know, if I see somebody doing it, hey, Tara, check it out. This is the guy. He can help you with that fantasy. Love you know? that. Um, intentions. Why are you here tonight? Me and my wife just want to check out something new. We want to spice up our relationship. Um, I just got out of a breakup, and I'm ready to get wild. Um, but there's a lot of different <laughs> intentions I've heard out there. Um, but just understanding, you know, why are you in this space, right? Mm -hmm. And then boundaries. This is a big one for us. We're making sure at our party that everybody is saying their boundary out loud mm -hmm. to at least one person. Um, it really helps with consent because if we're not telling people, hey, here's our line, right. how do they know if they're crossing it or not? Right. So we're making sure that um, you're communicating your boundary out loud. It's an empowering thing to do to right. say what your no is. And it also helps ground you back into the experience. Right. Because when you're at, uh, especially at the play, going to the play is like purchasing a day pass to a sex positive festival. There is so <laughs> much shit going on that sometimes it's, it's like- It's sex Coachella, sex ex Chella. Exactly, it is sex <laughs> Chella. And so there's so many things going on where it's like, hey, actually, I remember my wife and I decided that we were only going to play with each other and maybe kiss other people tonight. Mm -hmm. I need to remind myself that mm -hmm. while I see maybe a pile of people doing things <laughs> that I've only seen on the really internet. really want to jump in. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. not the boundary today. <laughs> yep. Okay, okay. I love that. D-I-B. Dibs. Dibs. Love it. Okay, so back to the first question of 
how do I get invited? A lot of times it's not getting invited, right? It's uh, researching and looking into the companies and then applying on their website. Yes, there's a lot of websites where you can apply. You know, they'll have a form that you fill out. Um, sometimes it's submit a picture. Uh, one of the unique things that we do at The Play is we make sure that we interview every single guest. Right. So we want to make I sure I was that interviewed by Michael. That's, that's right. <laughs> We want to do a face-to-face -face interaction right. because we're offering a very human experience mm -hmm. and having you just click through this, it, it really feels like we're taking the humanity out of this experience. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that when it comes to intimacy and sex, that you have a person that you're asking questions to yes. because there's so many things that you're nervous about mm -hmm. and anxious about and maybe intimidated about. Right. And when you just talk to somebody who's been to the party, it's like, hey, no, you actually don't have to have sex at this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever the questions are or concerns are, we're happy to answer it as a person to person. Yeah, that's a huge misconception, right? Is everybody that has never been thought that sex parties are or orgies, only orgies, like everyone must have sex. I think Absolutely that's a huge not. misconception. Yeah, it, what, I, what I love about what we're doing in this space, it's, it's just a new form of adult nightlife. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your boundaries. Sure, sex can happen, it's mm -hmm. an option. But that's not the point of why we're here. Mm -hmm. What we're actually here for is just connection, you know, to have that yeah. deep conversation. And if that deep conversation gets deep enough, you mm -hmm. know, you can really live in that moment and explore. Yeah. It makes me sad when people say things like, oh, okay, Diddy. I'm like, oh, wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it makes me sad. Whenever I talk uh, about me going to a sex party, it's like, uh, meanwhile, there's this thing going on in the society, uh, and this lady is talking about how people should participate. I'm like, that is preposterous. Like, this is an extremely, extremely different life experience. Okay. And to even equate it is this is just like, you're just dumb. Well, I, I wouldn't say dumb, I would say ignorant. You know, it Ignorant. just, it lets me know what their nightlife is like, what their right. sex life is like. If right. me saying, hey, come to a sex party is something that triggers you to and be like, like oh, I can't like believe Diddy. you do that. Yeah, it's like Diddy. Like, is that your frame of reference? Are we still doing missionary? No only? way. You know? <laughs> Period. Number two, how much do sex parties cost to attend? It's a great question. So it there's a range. So for... The play, I think we're kind of middle of the road. You know, it cost $140 for a female identifying guest, um, $360 for a male identifying guest, and $140 for a non-binary identifying guest. Now with our ticket prices, the way we've set it up is that what we've realized is that the female identifying guests that attend our party are usually gonna get their hair done, their nails done, they may get a new outfit. We also live in a society where women make, uh, you know, 70 cents on the dollar. Um, so all these things are taken into account when it comes to that ticket price Love it. versus the guy who comes and is like, all right, I'm going to get a haircut and the blue shirt. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, like I got my nails done to go to the sex party. Exactly. This is $140. Maybe they, got, maybe they got waxed, you know, who yeah. knows? So that's why we do it. So there's other play parties that you've mentioned. What was the other one? Uh, it was $1,500. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, $1, um, so it's $1,500 for the couple, maybe. The couple, yeah. um, there's other play parties where it's $800 for the guy and like $20 are free for women. Yeah, I've seen that too. These are the ones you should be, um, you know, cautious of, okay. I think. Okay. And don't get me wrong, I've had great times at those parties. Right. However, it does create a power dynamic, mm. right? If I'm a man who's paid $800 or $1,000 or even more to attend a sex party, right? Mm -hmm. I may have some expectations, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And for the woman who's there that you know didn't pay anything, well, I can just leave whenever I want. The second I feel uncomfortable, hey, I'm out. You know, why, why, why do I want to be here to experience this? Or if they are there, what is their intention for being there? Is it to potentially find... Clients? I don't, <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Okay, um, so I find that discussion very interesting because there is a narrative in our dating culture, regardless of, of generation, but whether it's like, you know, Gen X, millennials, Gen Z, it's, there is a narrative where in heterosexual dating, if the man is like courting you, taking you out to dinner, picking you out with his car, paying for dinner, yeah. 
uh, there is this like almost like an unspoken pressure that you have to like at the end have sex with them. Yeah. Right. And it's terrible. It is a terrible notion that like, oh, sex is owed because you took me out. Right. And not just because agree. you want to hang out and learn more about me and us, but you wanted something. So I can see how that translates to sex parties where men pay a lot and women don't pay at all. Um, not to say that anyone is owed anything, like because it's never that, but I can see how these men will be like hungry, right? I spent this amount. You're uh, you're absolutely right, and and I think these are the things that we're trying to change in in our sex party culture because that yeah. power dynamic can it can feel. I don't know if you ever saw that episode of uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia where they talk about the implications. The implications, <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> That is why we put our ticket price the way we have. Mm -hmm. um, there's other parties that are out there that have ticket prices that are equal for mm -hmm. men and women. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's awesome. Uh, personally, that's just not the society that we live in right. yet. And if they're taking us there, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm right now operating in, in the society where you know, women Reflects are spending- real life. Th that exactly, where women are spending so much on cosmetics and, and things of that nature and you know, guys, um, Put on a t-shirt and brush his teeth. <laughs> you know. Which I appreciate. Please yes. always brush your we, teeth we before you it. come to a sex yes, party. Yes, yes. And, and maybe <laughs> maybe a shirt with buttons on it. <laughs> well, also, there's follow-ups for this question. Mm -hmm. um, where do they usually take place? So ours take place at a variety of private residences around mm -hmm. Los Angeles. Um, so do you rent them? Is it like an Airbnb? Like no. A sex Airbnb? No, we don't. We have, we have a community of about 2,500 people. Um, and once they've been to the party, they're usually like, please host it at my place. So mm. I probably go to about three to four, you know, nice homes or mansions uh, a month just to see, will this work? Now, just because you have a nice house doesn't mean it's suitable for a play party. And there's a whole science behind that of, you know, how people interact socially in spaces. There's so, like, what does it have to look like? Like, well, so, big common room? Yeah, big com we love a big common room. What we don't want is the 10-bedroom home, mm. right? If you have 10 bedrooms, that sounds like a big house. And that's great, but that's 10 different vibes, mm, that's right? That's right, yeah. And Another thing, a little, you know, for the play party um, hosts out there that are watching this. Here's a, How many are Yeah, there? here's a little nugget for you guys. Or, or people that try or that want to host yeah, a play party. Maybe they want right? to do their own little one. Exactly. Like a, a, a five, ten people one. Exactly. <laughs> a good note is to try to have things in the, the living room, in the main room, right? Um, versus in a bedroom. Because in a bedroom, it's set up to where the bed is the stage. Right. Right? And so you could only get maybe six people on that stage. Mm -hmm. Then everyone else is kind of standing around and it becomes super awkward because like, okay, well, these people are on stage. We're standing around. We don't know how to get involved. Should we get involved? <laughs> um, and then also because we've just been trained like this uh, subconsciously, when you walk past a room that has a door, right? Yeah. When we walk past it and we see sex happening, we're always like, ah, oh, I gotta, yeah, like it's I, private. This is I weird. Yeah, enter. should I be here? Yeah. yeah. So when you have it in the big open space, it's like, okay, well, this is just happening all around me. This is cool. Maybe it inspires you to participate. Mm -hmm. So I went to a sex party where it was like very communal. It felt very like, um, like Burning Man, like very yes. communal, very loving and hu huggies all around. Mm -hmm. They trust everyone heavily. And they didn't check for like things like um, cell phones or let's um, talk about that weapons. Or <laughs> yes, we yeah we um, kitchen knife. <laughs> yeah, this is this is big for us. Starting with the cell phones, we have three rules at the play: no phones when you enter the play, mm -hmm. no phones, no money, no hierarchy. Mm. We start with no phones. We check your phone at the door. We don't do the hey guys, just make sure to put your phone away. Absolutely not. I don't not. like that. No, if you like, haven't... if I cannot trust 100 people at the same time. I can't trust myself. <laughs> like, if you say, put your phone away, I'll just put it in my pocket. It's away. Right. But, like, if I get six calls in a row or my, my phone just keeps vibrating, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to peek in my pocket mm -hmm. and I'm going to look to see what happened, right? And then as I peek... You're over there playing in a pile and you look up and you see me look at my like, phone. Oh no. And now we have this awkward moment where it's like, right. did he get a picture of me? Right. And I'm like, yeah. and I'm trying to look at you like, I didn't, I didn't. But then you're like, 
well, I don't, I don't know you. you yeah, phone? exactly. Why do you have your phone out? You're supposed to have your phone away. Mm -hmm. So now we have this super awkward and you know, um, situation. And our goal at the play is to create an environment that reduces the anxiety. Mm -hmm. We take away phones, that reduces anxiety. We take away money, that reduces anxiety. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the social class system. Do I have enough to purchase a drink? So all your drinks are included then? Oh, all it's all inclusive resort. You know, you inclusive get there. Resort. You get there because you're a member of the play, like it's included in your membership to where, you know, we have drinks, but we cut off the bar at midnight. Mm -hmm. This isn't a party party. This is a play right, party. Right. And Don't get fucked up. We're just exactly. We make sure that people have two, you know, those are two drink maximum and we cut off the bar at, at midnight. But the other thing was uh, no money. Mm -hmm. Right. Like we mentioned at other play parties, we don't know what is happening when there's exchanges. Right. And I'm not here to guess. Right. right so right. there's just no money. <laughs> don't, yeah. You don't need to use it. All the food that we have there, all the drinks. Um, we actually give out, you know, free joints because it's Los Angeles. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. 420. Um, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy yourself. Um, and then the big one for us is no hierarchy. Mm. No VIP. Mm. Oh, so no VIP tickets. There's no VIP tickets. Love that. Those are just, those are the ticket prices. Most parties have been to half VIP tickets. They do. What? What is VIP at a play party? Mm. Right? Is it, you know, you what I've seen, it's usually an older gentleman who mm -hmm. can afford the VIP ticket with maybe someone a little bit younger, mm -hmm. right? Um and that's kind of what the makeup of VIP looks mm. like. It's not always the place where you may want to be right. at a play party. Mm -hmm. um, so but, yours is like we're all friends. Yeah, it's like, yeah, this is a community. Yeah. Guys, come on. There's no space that I can go into that you can't go into. Right. Right. And I think it creates this uh, community feeling. Um, and then also, what is VIP at a play party? Is it the person who has like the best body and is the most in shape? You know <laughs> what I mean? Like what does VIP even look like? So it's just like we're all humans here. Come enjoy this space. Drop yeah. in. You know, again, do what you want to do. Don't do what you don't want to do. Reduce the anxiety yeah. by reducing the anxiety. We increase people's willingness to be vulnerable. And when we increase that vulnerability, we increase the likelihood of authentic connections. Love it. Number three, this is asked a lot. Does everyone have sex with everyone or can I just have sex with my partner? Oh, God, it's it's uh, no. Uh, they do not have sex with everyone. Um, you know, there's a lot of, we have a lot of new couples that come to the play mm -hmm. and it's the perfect space to just explore with your partner. If there's someone that you guys end up connecting with, maybe you invite them in. But we tell people prior to attending the play, you should be having the boundaries conversation with your partner. Yes. What are the hard no's? What are the things that we could potentially discuss? Um, but yeah, at a lot of play parties, you know, people are coming to hook up just with their partner in a new space, experience something new. Mm -hmm. But then there's also singles as well. Yeah. You know, I'd say we have 50% singles and 50% couples. So fun. Um, yeah, it's always with whatever your boundaries are. I, I think nowadays people are just coming to play parties because it's the new nightlife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like that. Yeah. Um, number four, do I need to bring my own condoms and toys or are they provided? Depends on the party. Mm -hmm. uh, we, like I said, we're an all-inclusive resort. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we provide all the condoms, lube, sanitation wipes, feminine products. Ooh. You know, if like you... Like tampons? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We have tampons and then we also have... Um, like, girl, in, in case you're bleeding. <laughs> don't worry, we got you. But with, and, and also, it, not just tampons, but we have like... A, I forgot what they're called, but they're a rubber. It has like a rubber seal and it's like plastic bag mm -hmm. thing to where you can put it in. So if you're on your period, mm -hmm. you can still have sex. Oh, Sometimes okay, there's been situations okay. at the party. It's like, oh my God, my period just came or. Wow. You what know, are I'm, the chances? I've, 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 I've been doing this for six years. I'm almost seven now. Are you and a vampire? No, absolutely not. No, 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 no blood. Don't. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. Oh, yeah. Do you, That's fine. Do Don't let the shirt fool you. Uh, I am not a vampire. Eat her out absolutely when she's not. On period? Um, <laughs> I, you know, I, it's happened before, um, not not intentionally. Some guys are dedicated vampires. I know some dedicated vampires, <laughs> and they are good people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Talking about condoms, I'd like to give a shout out to my sponsor for this episode. 
my one condoms okay my one Ooh. condoms is super impressive they have 52 different sizes so they have uh, like one condoms which is like basically all the condoms that you can go and buy they have 52 different sizes different length oh, wow. different width but what i really love is on their website they have custom made condoms okay so you go to their website and they have this dick measurement tape right you can print it out from their website dick measurement tape you measure your length you measure your width or your girth what? and then you enter the length and girth into the website and order a free sample can i see this yes you get literally it's like oh my God. it's like custom suits you get you get custom suits you get custom condoms oh. michael this is why it's like literally so baller we would have <laughs> The, a station for this at the party. It's this so This would baller. be so great. Like, come on over. We'll get you fitted. Yeah, you get know? you fitted <laughs> yeah. like a suit. We'll get you fitted. We'll yeah. we, got a, we got a fluffer over here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and awesome. I, I think it's because there's a lot of penis anxiety in the world in general, yeah. right? Um, if you wear a condom that's too loose, it's like, oh, like, oh, you know? And then you wear a condom that's too tight, then it's like, oh. It hurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I really like my one condoms. I've so. never heard of this. This is so cool. I can't yeah. wait to try them out. Custom condoms. You can also just get these like snug and large samples. They have three different sizes within them. So yeah, there's all kinds of options. I have link in my episode description. So go ahead and measure your dick and go to my one condoms. Will do. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. I was thinking like, okay, if I have sex with someone who's like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, baby. I have my, I, ha I have my condom. It's custom made. I'll be like, that is dang, awesome. yes. that's baller. We, we get so much feedback about the condoms. Like, can you have this brand? Can you have this brand? Can right. you have this brand? Oh, I bet. Um, but it would be super cool to have a brand to where it's like, look, we custom got the we got the, yeah, we got the ones that are custom for everybody. So, check it out. That's you so know? cool. That's awesome. Um, okay, so. Question number five, is there a dress code for a sex party or can I just wear my PJs? For our parties, we have themes. So the ones that we've done this year are, you know, the alien black light disco. Ooh. Um, what did you wear for the alien one? I wore um, one of the silver spacesuits. Like oh, I was an astronaut, you know, okay. and some, uh, and, you know, the antenna, Aww, <laughs> you know, alien cute. things. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, and then, you know, we've done... A lot of play parties will have themes to answer the question. So it depends on the theme. Some uh, play parties are just black ties. So you'll wear, um, you know, a, a suit. Yeah. And, and, and a cocktail dress. Um, and then there's other parties. Th okay. What I hate. <laughs> I, Tell us. Yeah. I'm, I'm here to put up a stand. Stop doing masquerade play parties. <laughs> Why? There's just... Is there a time where it's like, it's I want to hook up with someone, but I don't want to see your face. Right. Like, <laughs> there's just so, we, there's so much communication that happens in the face, mm -hmm. right? And especially when Facial it comes. Facial expression. It, yes, exactly. Yeah. It's like, you know, they say it's like 10% of the words you use are actually the communication. It's, it's the body language. It's the facial expressions that you're reading. And when we're in a space where um, consent is pivotal, you can see consent in a facial expression. Mm -hmm. Our saying is, if it's not a fuck yes, it's a no. Right. You know, if it's not an enthusiastic full body yes, it's a no. For me to be able to see that, I need to see that facial expression, right? Like I can see your eyebrows, your eyes, you know, your cheekbones, your mouth. <laughs> look, all of that I need to see. So, um, so when you put not that- Not a fan of masks. Yeah, when you put the mask on, like I'm trying to read the eyeballs, you know, <laughs> like is, are they into me? Is that, a, is that an actual yes? Um, because so many times at play parties, this is why we say it needs to be that enthusiastic yes, because at play parties it's like, um, yeah, that's a no for us. Mm. Hmm, um, maybe later, that's still a no. You know, so we want to make sure that to, to give those enthusiastic yeses, um, we can't have face masks, but for to answer your question directly, there's a lot of themes at play parties. So check out what the theme is, and if there's not a theme, this is the great t a great time for you to use that lingerie that you barely wear. You know mm. that super fancy lingerie where a lot of times it's only on for five minutes before. <laughs> <laughs> True. What about the guys? If there's no um, theme, guys, I, we tell people always wear something all black that makes you feel sexy. Mm, okay. Yeah, we start our, our uh, rule for of thumb. For the dudes. Dudes, just wear something all black. Makes you feel sexy. If they, a suit 
always works. Mm -hmm. But if there's like a shirt or there's a Burning Man outfit that makes you feel sexy, mm -hmm. that's what we want. We want yeah. the f so you come into that space saying we like confident men. I feel sexy. Yeah, yeah. we want confident men. Okay, number six. Am I allowed to bring a plus one without RSVPing? Not for ours. I think not for most. Yeah. You can't just bring a random person. Oh, there's a lot to a lot to be said there. Do um, they show up though at your party? Yeah, they show up all the time. Do people bring their plus ones yeah. without applying? Yeah. Mm. And we just say, all what right, happens? Well, call the Uber. No, no exceptions. No, absolutely not. I mean, I've turned around. No exceptions, no VIPs. Yeah, so like celebrities, uh, you name it. Like, you know, there are ticket prices, what it is. So it's not like, oh man, because this person's coming in, we're making so much more money. Like, no, this is, there is a process here. And part of our process is allowing you to communicate with us and ask questions to you. We want to make sure you're a fit for this party as well. Mm -hmm. There's some people where, um, the reason we interview every single person is because we want to feel out this vibe, right? Yeah. We can't trust your Instagram picture that you submitted <laughs> when you were on vacation, you were glowing, it was sunset, you know, yeah. and it was the right angle. Um, and it only takes like one or two people to kill the vibe. It only takes one. Only it takes, takes one. one person. Yeah, because I've seen it and I'm like, oh no. It's, it, it always takes one. And, and so our goal is to protect the vibe at all costs. Um, so we we will ask people to leave the party. We've right. asked couples to leave the party. So like, don't just show up. Don't just show up to the play party. Just be prepared. You know, there's a lot of preparation that goes into going to a play party. It shouldn't be something where it's like, hey, it's midnight. We're just leaving the bar. You want to go hit up that play party? Like, <laughs> After the club? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> you should shower. <laughs> Number seven. How long do they last? You're like, depends on the person. Depends on the party, <laughs> depends on the person. Um, uh, right right now, our parties go from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Okay. Uh, that sounds like a lot of time, but the first four hours of our party are focused on connection. We have mm. intimacy exercises. We have workshops. We have a fire PlayStation, an electro PlayStation, a body You guys bus have a station. lot of games too, right? Yeah, we'll have yeah. some games as well. We want these ways for you to meet people naturally instead of like, hey, we're going to put you in a nice home. We're going to add alcohol and we're going to let you roam. You know, right. it's, it's like, yeah. it's, it's a, that's the simple equation for, for play parties. But we want to have some things that allow people to connect. We also have performances. Mm -hmm. And they're not just like paid performers. They're performances from our guest. Mm -hmm. So you let me know what your fantasy is. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember we had our conversation with um, your husband. He's a painter. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. what if he painted your money or something? Right, you know? yeah, um, yeah. So we want our guests to have a way to express themselves. Right. Um, Activities also really help. Break the um, ice. Yeah, help yeah. you make new friends. Exactly. Yeah. And so it's like, oh, I met Tara at Butt Plug Ring Toss. <laughs> which I would be at the Butt Plug Ring Toss. <laughs> yeah, we, I'm had... pretty sure that's the photo I shared with, with one my of them, yes. broadcast exactly. channel. Yeah. So the first four hours are built on connection. The next four hours are play party. At this part of the party that we're doing, that I'm going to leave here and head to. Uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's yeah. literally going to his the sex party he's hosting. Right after this. <laughs> um, yeah, it, we, we have this amazing location in Bel Air. Shout out to Modi Nochi. Um, they, it's this beautiful space of, of love and creativity. And we're going to go be going from 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. <laughs> the sleepless slumber party. Wow. Wow. Maybe I should go and then go straight to the airport. That's what I was trying to. I was <laughs> trying to convince you, like, look, just bring the bags. We could get you figured to out. To twelve p.m. I've never heard of that before. This is the first time we're ever doing what it. What was the intention? Like, what's the point? We now have the Play Network, so we have our own app and social mm. media for our look members. Look at that. Yeah, and so we want. So I know that it's the Play LA, but do you guys ever host in other cities? Yeah, so we're technically just the Play. Okay. So we have Los Angeles in January. We'll be going to London. Fun. Yes, we are looking at San Diego as well. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of people so from the OC. So expanding. We are, we are expanding. Okay. Yeah. All right. So my listeners and people that are watching on YouTube are like, when are you coming to my city? Oh, we're Leave coming. Leave in the comments, like, which cities? <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Yes, let us know. London London is up next, though. We can't wait. All right. Uh. London is sexy. Oh, there's... It's I, so sexy. I had the opportunity of meeting uh, Emma Sales, who is the owner yeah. of Killing Kittens. Yeah. And so we had... Uh, 
Are you a, doing a collab? A play date. Uh, not like a play date, but like, like, we should have, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to watch my words here. Um, no, me and Emma hung out for like, you know, eight hours one day, um, you know, took her to one of my favorite places in the Hollywood Hills. And, you know, we went swimming and, and talked. And, you know, this is someone who I really look up to in this space, who's been doing this for, what, like 17, 18 years, yeah. you know, and I'm so I'm on like year seven. Yeah. And so I'm just picking her brain. She's giving me so much advice. So I love um, that. the play and killing kittens are going to do a party here in Los Angeles <gasps> in the fall. Fun. In November, we'll, we'll announce November. the date. November, I'll be there. Yes, we can't have, we gotta be there. Right. Yeah. And, wow, that's um, so cool. So we're teaming up and then we'll, we'll uh, go to London with uh, killing kittens as well. Love that. I also love that you're mentioning that, you know, she's been doing this like 18 years. You've been doing this seven years because I often have comments on my social media or like podcasts saying like, wow, all these sex parties are like everywhere recently. I'm like, no, people have been going to sex parties forever. You're just hearing it more now because it's a little bit more acceptable in the media. Yes, I, I will say um, that parties are popping up everywhere. You yeah. know, I'm definitely seeing new a lot of new parties, especially in LA. A lot of them will last a year or two. Mm, and you why know. is that? Sometimes it's Too the much the, work, not enough profit. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, and then then also just you know the owners. What's the intention? Is this right. just a person who's like, and hey, I want the face. hot yeah. girls to come to my party, and I want to hook yeah. up with you? Or is it you know? Are you trying to the ones that last are the ones that try to create community? Mm -hmm. And, and that's what this is about is good um, intentions, good intentions and, and creating a community that accepts everyone from this community because it can't it's it, some of these t parties tend to be heteronormative. Um, and we have to create space for the LGBTQ plus community mm -hmm. as well to feel welcomed in these spaces. Mm -hmm. But I will say there is a very big difference between a gay party and a straight party. But the play is all party. Exactly. We're we're the party for artists. If right. you define yourself as an artist, you appreciate art, you want to experience art. I feel then, like everyone's an artist at something. And that's why we do it. Yeah. So come express yourself. Like even if you're, like. you know, in finance, but you love cooking. Yes. Culinary arts is art. <laughs> yep. And we love our, our trans couples. We had some trans performers before as Beautiful. well. Um, just... I think diversity in this space mm -hmm. is big. And, mm -hmm. and as one of the only um, African-American play party owners, mm -hmm. I'm going to say in the world, mm -hmm. you know, um, there's, yeah. there's a few out there and a few I look up to. Uh, William from Bonobo. Diversity is very big for me in this space, mm -hmm. right? I used to go to play parties and I was the only black guy there. <laughs> oh you my know? God. Uh, How did you feel about that? I feel uh, like I would feel weird if I'm the only Asian person. Exactly. And and if it, it does feel weird. And, and, you know, people are like, oh, man, I want to experience a BBC fantasy. It's like, oh, my God. Thank Do you. you have a line? Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> there was a compliment in there. <laughs> right? It's like, we but, want a BBC yeah, yeah. experience. Like, so you're just saying, um, you think I'm going to be that big BBC? And I'm, you're like the one I'm person the, at this party. The That's crazy. Yeah. So just making sure there's diversity, just not, not just of race and ethnicity and of um, sexual orientation but also shapes and sizes right right you don't okay. have to be a supermodel to attend a play party okay talking about diversity number eight our question number eight is about the things that people enjoy and some of the things can be a little frightening some of the things can be a little bit outside the norm or very much outside the norm and there's a lot of uh, a lot of things that perhaps not everyone's comfortable about so question number eight are there kings or fetishes that are off limits at parties yes okay C and C, consensual non-consent. Not at sex parties. Not at sex parties. Mm -hmm. I think I could only speak to our party. There are some parties that do allow C and C. Right. Right. For us, it's tough to. Um, Can you explain it to listeners? First? Yeah. So C and C is consensual non-consent. That means if I'm going to hook up with someone, they're going to basically struggle and be like hey don't it's do this please simulating stop simulating sexual assault exactly simulating sexual assault and peace, there's a lot of people that are into that mm -hmm. and that is totally fine but at a play party it's hard for our play party monitors right. you know so we have people in the space that monitor the play right. party make sure everybody's safe like um, a guardian angel exactly we call them angels Aww. um and it's hard for our angels to f understand, like, are you guys in a scene or <laughs> is like, are this person being yeah, sexually assaulted? Yeah. yeah. So for us, let's just like you guys not here. Mm -hmm. Right. We're not we don't want to kink shame anyone. But C&C, not, not the place we can't do here. Yeah. Um, also, 
Yeah, what about other things? Blood? <laughs> Piss play. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to clean it up, bro. I just don't want to <laughs> clean it up. But it's... Um, so poop, no, no scat. We, we, we do allow... Okay, so there's... We have to get into the science of this. Okay. When women squirt, yes. 95% of that is pee. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, but if she drinks a lot of water, it's clear, oh, though. It's, yes, it doesn't it's smell that bad. <laughs> clear and tastes amazing. Um, but not at a sex party. No, we love it. We love it. We want women to squirt all over the sex party. You okay. know, you can you could come all over the sex party, too. We just have squirt blankets. Mm. And we ask that if you know that you're a squirter, please. Use the tool. Use the tools. Um, if you want to do piss play, just... Let's do it in the restroom, you know, yeah. or maybe there's an outside a area, <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. That you can do that on. What about um, scat? <laughs> uh, no, absolutely not. I'm just not, <laughs> I'm not cleaning like, that shit up. You know, literally. <laughs> look, when people do anal, there's there's good. There may be a little, a little scat bit, residue, but not a whole right? like. We're just asking for you not to intentionally <laughs> take a shit in our party. That's that's my line. That's <laughs> you know, the like, line. I have my. You've heard my boundaries now. <laughs> right. What if it's like? <laughs> Is that your boundary? That's my desires. Don't be joining our pile hard. by creating a pile. If you shit in this pile, <laughs> I swear to God, you're out. Like, you will. I will sue. Oh, I'm dying. Anything else? Any off limits? Oh, let's see. Blood play. We we don't have the space for it. Mm, um, yeah. We don't. We don't have. I shouldn't say we don't have the space for it. We don't have the team mm -hmm. of educated people to mm -hmm. be able to. Um, monitor navigate. that and mm -hmm. navigate that have you seen the tv show beef with ali wong yeah i love that show you know like what the scene when ali wong uses the gun yeah and she put the gun all over her body and she gets horny and yeah. she puts a gun like in her face knife play like, is what you're getting to yeah yeah um <laughs> we've we've had some of that happen um and again the it's always closely monitored mm. right so if you know, are there opportunities to do blood play at our party? Sure, if we have the right monitor with the right mm -hmm. experience to watch over. Or if it's like a show. Over. Yeah, right. or if it, exactly, or if it's one of the performances. Because you guys do shows. Exactly. So yeah. we've had some some risque, it's all risque performances. But, <laughs> um, uh, but, but some are way more non-traditional than others. Exactly. Yeah. I would say this. I try not to mix in, you know, hardcore kink into right. a play party mm. because... Uh, there are parties out there. One of my favorites, uh, Rosie Peaches. They are a kink party. Mm. You know, they're all for, you know, spaking, impact play. There's other dungeons out there that you should visit that are specialized in that. For us, we're, we're doing art and a play party. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, there's kink things out there. But the last thing you want is for you to be deep in this kink scene, mm -hmm. right, where you're mentally there. You know, and someone who's just there for this play party just walks by. is like, oh, my God, girl, you look so cute. You know, it's like, <laughs> I'm deep in this scene with, like, daddy. And you're, like, messing me up right now. And so um, we try to make sure that, you know, if there is kink um, that's going to happen at the party, that we have designated spaces for it mm. so that it doesn't interfere with just the people who the are there general, for casual play. Yeah. Okay, love that. All right, number nine. We talked about this a little bit already, but can you share, because you've done this for years, mm -hmm. can you share the themes of the sex parties you've done? I so mean, tonight is Tonight is a sleepless, the sleepless slumber party. So, okay. you know, wear your PJs. Okay. Um, what are some of the last few? The last few, we just did the Matrix. Our, we do an annual Matrix party. Hot. It is one of Neo our sexiest. Because fucking hot. Exactly. I mean, first off, the Matrix like, could have been a sex party. There was yeah, like some the of those Matrix scenes where like, yeah, there's party. like the scene in Zion, some it's of those raves. It was a whole, yeah. So it's, it goes Leather. perfect. But yeah, we are known for our Matrix party. Uh, our party in July 6th, we're going to do a party called Wet Hot American Summer. Ooh, what's that? At the play camp. It's going to oh. be like you going to a sex camp. You That's know? so fun. We're going to divide you up into cabins. Oh We're going to have. Oh, my God. And there's um, going to be fire. Like yeah, you're going to make friendship bracelets. Oh. Um, oh, and I'm, I'm ordering like a thousand Girl Scout cookies. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Okay. You know? That is so cool. Yeah. I'm so sad I'm missing that one. It's all good. It's so fun. But after that, we're going to, I believe the next one will do uh, the Play Olympics. What's you know, that? the Summer Olympics is coming. Yeah. So we're going to have like a bunch of like fun sex activities, you know, oh, to where like, can sporty. you. Exactly. There are these 
yoni eggs that you can insert in you and have yes. a chain to it, and like you can see how much weight you can. You know that take lady in yeah. LA or in Malibu that can lift a surfboard yep. with her pussy. Exactly. So it, all you of, have to invite her. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has, like, she can she'll, do the she'll show. dominate. Yeah, she'll, yeah. Just, she'll get the the gold. But oh my god, that's so fun. Yeah, um, we've had, you know, uh, like I said, the alien one. Um, one of our parties that we do every year um, is the place Tantric Temple. Uh, a lot of people are in the Tantra and we have a big spiritual community um, as well. So this is where we kind of have all of our woo woo stuff. That is a party where we do not allow uh, alcohol, mm. you know, Love so that, that is, so uh, yes. And some of our parties, we don't have alcohol, you know, it's just like, what does it, what makes sense? Right. We're, and you when don't we do, need alcohol. You don't, you don't like, need it. Yeah. A lot of times people just want a cup in their hand. So it's like, hey, I've got a cup in my hand. I'm in a social space. This feels normal. Yeah. You know, that's really like, why we're giving you something Here's a mocktail. There. Yeah. And so um, we, uh, oh, an, another one that we're having in October um, is going to be the cosplay. Fun. I, I love anime. I um, love anime. Yeah. So there's a bunch of characters that I can't wait to um, portray, but. Hentai is the number one search term on Pornhub. Uh, when, I mean, so. when I first discovered porn, that was my favorite <laughs> When I when I oh my god is it with the big started. titties like up and down All in a t-shirt of that, the tentacles <laughs> I mean we can we can get into it um, but so I'm super excited we're my wife and I are actually going to go to Japan in early October so when so we get fun. back we're going to be hosting are you going to get the, your costume I'm going to get the costume but we're going to find like a bunch of other cool things that may be out there that we didn't even think of to add to the party oh there's lots um, yeah we there's a, a man his name is oh he does it's called Sushi Bari. Uh, his, sushi bari. Yeah, sushi bari. Um, so is it sushi and shibari? Exactly. Like what? Is, what is and happening? He's gonna be joining us at this party. <laughs> he brings out a big cut of bluefin tuna, and um, tie it up, a girl. No, no. He brings up the tuna, and then he has basically a station for you to create your own hand roll from that tuna. And then while you're doing the hand roll, they're doing shibari. Wow. Yeah, I was uh, mind blown. I was like, so we have I to thought have... I know most things. Oh, we. we... I don't know anything. <laughs> I've seen some things. Wow. <laughs> but... Sushi Bari. Yeah, I want so that at my birthday party. We're going to have that at, at the next, uh, at the cosplay in October. Um, we have the Killing Kittens party that we're going to be doing in, in the fall. That's so fun. What are wow, your other life is so fun. I, it's, it, it's, it's a wild one. I want to tell you about my bachelorette party. Okay. So my at my bachelorette party, we did the Dr. Tara Sex Olympics. Oh my goodness! Well, I need more I Olympic had, categories. Do you I have had any for thirteen me? girls okay. um, uh, with me, and we we had so much fun. Um, so we had four different games. The well, five different games. The first one was like easy, so sex trivia. Okay. Right, and then you collect points. Okay. And then the second one is uh, the blowjob competition. So we're adding that to the play Olympics. Low job Done. competition. Yeah. So uh, so everyone got like they randomly select a cucumber. So we have small cucumbers, medium cucumbers, large cucumbers. Oh the British girl in my in my bachelorette won that one. She was so good. I'm looking forward to going to London. <laughs> we now. all judge too. Yeah, like we're we're great. all judges. So like we're like holy shit, she's so good. <laughs> um, and great. then we had uh, riding. So cowboy, cowgirl. Uh, we had cowgirl, and we're just like, who's who's the best at like riding dick? Oh my so god! So we had like a yeah. We had what would you use for the <laughs> cow? <laughs> <laughs> the um yeah. <laughs> so okay. we had a situation. Cool. So we, <laughs> we all rode and we judge each other. <laughs> <laughs> Time out. Time. What what I'm hearing here <laughs> is that there was. Someone, no, no, some no. lucky individual. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Okay, I'm not saying anything. There is. God we were bless riding. His heart. We were taking turns riding and judging each other. And mm -hmm. anyways, at the end, you do win a medal. Like there was who a, won the medal? A gold medal. Uh. Well, this like very unassuming shy friend. Yeah. Won the gold. Wow. Medal. Well, I think we all know who the winner was. <laughs> Whoever was on the floor getting ready. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Last but not least, question number 10. Do you think everyone should try going to a sex party once? Absolutely. People, let me talk to you for a second. <laughs> Are you tired of going to the club? Right? <laughs> Loud music, dark lights, fueled with alcohol. You know, people trying to create like some interesting one-liner that they have to say at a high tone. 
you know, like, hey, you look really nice tonight. Uh, do you come here often? Like, what is going on? I, I just think where nightlife is right now, all the options, it's like, okay, well, I either go get something to eat with my friends or then I go to, or I go to a concert. You know, at a concert, we're watching something. I'm not actually having a good conversation. Right. You know, I was just at Coachella with a bunch of friends and it's like my seventh Coachella in a row. <laughs> Uh, but you're it, like I'd rather be at a play party man don't get me started yeah. um, but but it's it's you know when I was talking to my friends it was like what was your favorite performance like my favorite part about this was just hanging out with you guys walking from performance to performance and catching up mm -hmm. you know and I, I don't think there's a lot of spaces out there that offer places where we can be vulnerable with each other where the mm -hmm. the DJ beat drop isn't the focus right you know yeah. we, we I tell my DJs all the time like this isn't the, the beat drop this party. This is not your show. You're just creating an underlying <laughs> yeah. tone. Ambiance. Exactly. And and that's what we're creating at these play spaces to where to play with someone, you have to have mm -hmm. a real intimate conversation mm -hmm. and really connect with people. And that's what I love about play parties. It's it's not about the sex. It's about the pillow talk. Ooh, wow. That's such a good ending. Everyone's clapping here. <laughs> okay, uh, before you leave, What's your hot take, controversial opinion about sex and dating in 2024? Opening up your relationship will bring you closer to your partner. That's hot, man. Where can everyone Be find you? Yeah, um, you can find uh, us on Instagram at theplay.la. Um, if you'd like to apply to the play, uh, go to theplay.la. My personal Instagram is at Michael Hollis. Yeah, and also. If you do join the play, um, check out the Play Network. We just created an app, a social media just for uh, people in our community to where you can, you know, share sexy pictures. Um, we have like cringe stories and, <laughs> you know, um, you can see who's in your area. But uh, it's an app that's not, you know, built on keeping you on the app as long as possible. You know, there's no doom scrolling. There's no advertisements. It's just a place where people can... Um, connect and you know see who wants to play <laughs> amazing thank you so much awesome thank you for having me also before we end um, I just want to say thank you so much for doing this oh right it is so hard for people to have these conversations and it's so hard to create spaces for people to have these conversations the people that have been on you know you are truly a, a voice uh, in this space and you're creating conversation and opportunities and enlightening people on uh, something that has been seen as taboo. And I can't thank you enough for shedding, you know, your light on it and um, your specific brand, your personality, your energy, your creativity. Um, thank you so much for doing this. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. That, make, that makes me feel so good and it means a lot because like, as you know, this work is hard. It is hard. We, yeah. we get, you know, people are like, oh, you throw sex parties. I can't believe that. Oh, you're talking it's about sex. so like, much misconception. Like, all we want is what? love and peace, man. That's it. Love, peace, and orgasm. <laughs> like, that's all we want. We're here for connection. So thank you so much. And my Love Bites fam, thank you so much for listening and watching till the end of the episode. I appreciate you. I make this show for you. So make sure that you like, subscribe, comment. Um, you have other questions about sex parties? Let me know in the comments. And other than that, have an orgasmic day. Bye. Thanks for listening. This was, this was Love Bites. Love Bites by Dr. Tara. Follow Dr. Tara on social media at lovebites.co. Have an orgasmic day.